So in this video, you are going to learn how you can simply create or make a drivable vehicle in Unreal Engine 4.27. So I already add the vehicle asset pack. So then you need to make sure that once you go your plugins and make sure if you search here that vehicle and you find this that you make sure your physics vehicle is enabled. Once it's done, just go to your any folder, create right mouse, click on right mouse, go to blueprint class and add here at all class in research research w -E l wheel and you find a wheel vehicle okay add the wheel vehicle and you click on select okay now you can give your vehicle name so i'm just giving my v or it's my vehicle yep so with that we need to click on double click and open this thing okay nice now you need to go to vehicle mesh at here you need to set up basically your vehicle uh, mesh so that in my case which packet uh, which asset pack i'm using they have lots of old types mesh also so i'm using the old zero okay so as you can see it's looking very nice click on apply and save now for a driving vehicle we must need a camera so by selecting mesh we need to add a sp and you find the spin now just add this thing click on compile and save so this is spin and this is spin uh, this spring arm help you to uh, uh you know just fix the camera so we can move around the camera so that's why then by selecting the spin arm you need to add a camera then click compile and save and make sure that you set the attached parent vector with its thin line and point click on compile and save nice now if you check here by default it can be kind of like this you need to set it to zero once it's done it will become in a same line once it's done you need to adhere the target length you need to set it to at last make sure that you uh, select 70 uh, how much you want far from your vehicle you can select compile and save okay nice now what you need to do is basically for setting a vehicle you need to set up the vehicle movement okay just go to vehicle movement and then you need to go to wheel setups and there you find the three two one and zero if you have more wheels you can add back this add elements so let's open these wheels okay so now you need to select but before that we need a wheel class also so just go to vehicle uh, the blueprint and search wheel and you find here the wheel uh, vehicle wheel click this and create so you can give it as you want my v data okay so then just double click and open so this is uh, we can uh, this is the basically the radius that how much you want i'm giving 45 then uh, simply duplicate one more time and for the second one make sure we don't need the our back uh, wheel also turn in left or right so if you do if you want you can enable this thing if you want you just select like my this how i select just zero once it's done come here vehicle and select here your vehicle data one vehicle data one and the for the la last two things vehicle data one and vehicle data one okay that is vehicle data and vehicle data one okay once it's done you need to now give your basically the mesh of a skeleton the wheel position so it's in my mesh then the car basic mesh so once you open this thing you find here the basically the wheel why is the wheel if you uh, as you can see if i just rotate this thing okay so it's mean uh so by this thing i can basically uh rotate the uh, wheel so just select this thing uh so you need to go to details and here you find so first of all we we'll set for the our front wheel so it's the front left or the right one copy this thing comment vehicle select it here or your vehicle movement and then paste it here then second for this one so we'll be set the left wheel make sure that is a front wheel copy this thing comment here paste it here now we need the same thing for our back wheels for this one's copy comment here and paste it here then comment here and then the last one this is and select all copy come in vehicle vp and paste it here okay now your vehicle have the basically data so now what you need to do we need to set up some code at here so we can control basic basically so for that what i'll be do is basically very simple at here first of all uh what i'll be do is we'll be get a vehicle movement and from this one will be set th and you find the set throttle inputs with that then we need for vehicle movement set st and you find the steering wheel just select this thing now we need to search that uh, make sure move to for uh, move for and you find like this that move forward action map and then move right action map so that is basically action key not action map just select with this thing and select like this 
for this one select like this or just connect basically okay now click on compile and save okay now for driving the vehicle we must need to select one more thing that for understanding our map so we need a game mode data so just go to blueprint game mode base and you can give anything my game mode now save this thing now double click and open this thing and from add share that default class you need to select here basically the your vehicle okay that is basically my v okay yeah my v uh, sorry <laughs> i am just selected the wrong one so that is the my v click on compile and save now once it's done at your world settings if you don't have like this you don't have so just click on settings and then click world settings you find here the option then just simply drag and drop at here your world settings now click on save make sure you add a basically a start point in your game now click on play so as you can see we have the vehicle but make sure we need to sometime we need to fix some like as, as you can see this vehicle have uh, so much uh, as you can see it's not uh, right and we also need to select some physics so it will be work more so for vehicle movement physics you need to right mouse animation animation blue paint you need to select the vehicle animation then you need to select basically your car uh, basically the skeleton okay so make sure so then click on okay then since it's done you can give your an name my animation click on save now double click and open okay from this once that from result you need to search whwl and just context sensitivity just disable and you find the wheel handler just get this thing i'm showing you most easiest way and then from the mesh component you need to search that mesh and constant uh, the sensitivity should be now enable and mesh okay now compile and save now go to my and just select at your mesh and now you need to set here the my animation now it will be work so make sure sometime you need to maybe adjust this thing okay because sometime this should be can be you know some oh as you can see there should be our uh, data one so okay data one data 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 okay compile and save now let's click on play as you can see now it's 100 percent setups okay so our uh, basically everything is working for the camera movement what you need to do basically very simple you need to go to graph and make sure that you set this pin and, and use pound control rotation saved and okay now basically also as you can see now you can see the vehicle basically the wheel are also working 100 percent okay so yeah basically we successfully create our vehicle okay so i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe as you can see but there's a one more problem that our wheel is not looking so much good it's looking like some blur okay as you can see it's looking blur so for fixing this you need to go project settings and at your project settings you need to search um, motion and yeah that is the motion blur and just untick this thing click on save now click on play okay now you can see that your wheel will be not do like the uh, you know but as you can see the shaper radius is some i think very high so you can maybe increase some kind of like 40 or kind of like that so if you want you can change it to like this 40 let's select this thing also 40 click on saved 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 okay now click on play yeah now i think it's now more perfect if you want more you can increase and increase by yourself and everything is working 100 percent physical is working okay with very good so i just hope you like by the, this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel kodi mangla yt thank you so much for watching in next video we will try to set up the vehicle uh, engine sounds okay so yeah see you in next video and bye bye